Well, I work with craftspeople, so for me the title of this um, SEP conference is actually Crafting a <coughs> Sustainable Future. Handmade is the future, and Handmade meets 11 of the 17 Sustainable Development Goals. And Kashmir is actually a microcosm of the most extraordinary craft. I think that when we talk about JNK and Ladakh or any part of India, and we are talking of its development, we must be aware of its, its uniqueness. I think that any uh, sort of policy, any strategy has to build on the uniqueness of the region. We are increasingly aware of our unique and diverse ecosystems and their value and the importance of preserving and nourishing them. We've heard a lot about that through the day. But similarly, we must be aware of the cultural and social ecosystem each area has, the attempt to create, make India a single monoculture would destroy its unique essence. So few parts of India have such a unique richness of craft traditions as Kashmir, so many techniques, so many exquisite motives, and so many people dependent on these uh, hand skills. I think almost every family in Kashmir has at least one member who's either making craft or selling it. And so tourism, which, uh, you know, as we've heard, has decreased so much for a variety of political and economic reasons and logistic reasons, has had a terrible impact on the craft sector. The markets and buyers have dwindled, the makers lack both the economic and entrepreneurial means to optimize their extraordinary potential, and 30 years of insurgency, infiltration, and army occupation have resulted not only in the loss of tourism and trade, but a loss of confidence and a disconnect with mainland India and a perception from mainland India that Kashmir is a no-go area. Unemployment among youth is high, leading to disillusionment and further poverty, violence, and reactionary fundamentalism. Over the last year, Kashmir's economy and craft growth has been further ravaged by the extraordinary events of last August. The verdict is still out on what the eventual outcomes on me but we must, uh, will be, but we must be aware that it was a seismic shock with a social, emotional, political, psychological, and economic impact. I think that when we strategize for Kashmir, we must realize that and the sensitivity of the people and the region and that we cannot, however brilliant our solutions are, impose these without considering what the status quo presently is. Uh, moving from that, my own organization, Daskar, has been working in, Lada in Kashmir for over 30 years. Uh, we worked with women in villages in Baramula and, uh, where, and Sopor, whose husbands have all gone. And we've recently been working on a project called Commitment to Kashmir, where we've picked up young entrepreneurs and are building on them as the kind of activators and the things of further development. I'm going to show you a very short film, which will be on the work that Daskar and Commitment to Kashmir is doing, and which is, I think, a module of what we need. Because what do craftspeople need in, the skills are there in abundance, but how can we make those skills come alive again and earn them a sustainable living? So it's design and product development, it's upgrading technology to make the process more productive, and eco-friendly, it's access to new high-end metro markets, there's entrepreneurship training, 
credit and storage facilities, and then, very, very importantly, a whole range of ancillary skills like packaging, dyeing, dry cleaning, tailoring, finishing, drying chambers, all of which can generate local employment. So, over to the film. work in Kashmir because every family, every individual is touched by craft production in some way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When a place is almost locked out from the rest of India because of the insurgency and the violence that is happening, it does affect everybody. We are not working only with an artisan, we are actually working and scaling up and setting up enterprises. Our aim actually was to make artists We used to work like randomly. Now we are uh, using business tactics and thinking like a business person now. We are going to go to the final line and we are going to go to the final line. We are going to go to the final line and we are going to go to the final line. We are going to go to the final line and we are going to go to the final line. So we are going to go to the final line and we are going to go to the final line. We are going to go to the final line. What has interest in A that we have a very, very strong link with our partner, Craftlet and Student Srinagar. And so they have been our very strong support system in the valley. So CDI's role right from the beginning has to identify the right kind of people for the project and then providing the support in terms of infrastructure, documentation and also hand-holding and <coughs> networking with the right kind of raw materials, sources. My name is Mahmoud Yunus Shah. I am a member of the C2K. We have to get this benefit that we have to get a new product. We have to get a new product. 
So the returns are not only related to a range of products, they are also thinking along with us. There is a constant dialogue with them and that dialogue is also opening them in terms of what else they, they can do to improve their livelihood and they are coming to the world. Every human looks for a purpose in life and each of these artisans themselves will employ. They will, they will generate livelihoods to so many people, they will keep so many people engaged and they get so many people a purpose. So the Guru alone gives 10 people a purpose, 50 artisans would mean 500 people getting a purpose and I think that's however small a battle, that's a battle not. I want more market and more products. Or more products, or production. करना चाहती हूँ नए अलग चीजों में. और जैसे देखो. Just going to flash some of the new products that we've designs that we've developed. Just take a minute or so. I mean, and basically, whether you're talking of crafts or you're talking about animal husbandry or you're talking about tourism, you have to work with the community. You have to make the community feel motivated and a part of it. So this is some of the uh, designs. Uh, can we have the lights off? It's just two minutes, I think, not even two minutes. <laughs> 